NASA gave a basic counsel. Pluto is not what you think. What is NASA recommending here? Are they insinuating the latest disclosures from the New Horizons space test, which show that odd things are going on on Pluto's surface? One of the hazardous pictures, as a matter of fact, shows an item that appears, by all records, to drift across the external layer of Pluto. This raises disturbing requests as to whether some kind of advanced dark life exists on this faraway world, or are we making do with an impossible-to-miss geographical characteristic? Pluto may be nearly nothing, yet the stories it necessities to tell are huge and loaded with shocks. When Pluto's planetary status was disavowed in 2006, scientists were uninformed about the data from the New Horizons test, which just showed up at Pluto after nine years. From there on out, we have realized that there is another thing to this smaller guy than was normal. How did cosmologists truly come to deny this planet, which we have all in some way grown up with? The situation with a real planet had been that way after the discovery of different other little planets in the Kuiper Belt. They concluded that we truly required a limit for what is a planet and what is a dwarf planet or transneptunian object. Pluto scores points for its size and round shape, yet the planet shares its orbit with a couple of different items. The orbit is subsequently not considered to be perfect, and this was unequivocally the defense for why Pluto was not generally associated with the rundown of enormous planets in the planetary bunch. Many individuals on Earth think this is a shame, and this choice by space specialists caused disappointment among the people overall. Pluto, now not a planet, was a troublesome idea for some. The fact that this little crazy, Planet has so many fans on Earth led to letters of protest to NASA from notable specialists who supported the minimization. In fact, even state-run administrations got letters from perturbed inhabitants requesting that Pluto be a planet again. This planet has been with us since the 1930s and has been an important part of a movement of nine planets. It was as if to promote this in 2015 when New Horizons sent us the primary genuine picture. The Pluto excavator planet showed us its charming face. Imagine it was the first genuine image of Pluto. If you've seen the planet on boards or in school reading material before, they were imaginative depictions, not genuine pictures. Pluto denied even the Hubble telescope a clear perspective on its surface, in a manner that New Horizons was allowed to photo the little one as it really is. Splendid, well-disposed, unquestionably rich, and with a heart. From there on out, the planet on the external edge of the neighborhood planetary bunch has prevailed upon a lot more fans, and perhaps space specialists will change their viewpoints one day, and we will get Pluto back. The main genuine pictures of Pluto blew everybody's mind. It was an enchanted second when the essential data from the New Horizons test shown up at mission headquarters in 2015. Everyone present knew that they were going to see a planet for the first time that everybody was somehow acquainted with, but had never seen up close. The PCs on Earth set up this spellbinding picture from enormous quantities of individual pieces and pixels. What the test revealed about Pluto was a discovery that completely turned our comprehension of this faraway planet on its head. Pluto is significantly more changed, significantly more coordinated, and essentially more alive than planetary researchers had previously acknowledged. Moreover, the little planet appeared to be covered in scenic features and maybe much environmental idiosyncrasies nobody had expected. With each new piece that New Horizons imparted, the murky, astounding world in the darkness of the Kuiper Belt turned into a significant item that showed such an excess of life that it took specialists' breath away. More and more astounding geographical wonders opened up before the researchers. Instead of the ordinary freezing and cratered no-man's land, Pluto ended up being a unique spot with wonderful pieces of ice, deep gorges, and smooth cold surfaces. It required years for the countless measurement data, photos, and discoveries to make the long excursion from Pluto to Earth. Since 2015, we have been dumbfounded more than once with new enchanting perspectives about Pluto. Who is that walking on Pluto's surface? It's staggering. This moving picture circulated in the media in 2016. However, what might you at any point see here? It looks like an individual is strolling across an unusual honeycomb-shaped snow float. You can really see ice scenes here, but not at all like on Earth. These frozen surfaces are not made of water, but of nitrogen and methane. Researchers recognized the surprising item as a dirty lump of ice, which emits an impression of drifting over the surface of the ice-covered plain. 
the gigantic block of ice is most likely also made of unbelievably solid nitrogen. These bizarre-looking landforms uncovered something extremely exceptional to trained professionals. They now believe that there is a nitrogen supply a couple of kilometers underneath Pluto's surface, in which the solid blocks structure geological movement. The interior of the planet pushes these blocks upwards, making the honeycombs and plains like the seemingly wandering mountains. This focuses to a warm center of the planet, and this finding is a hint that could have broad implications for how we may interpret Pluto. Pluto is certainly more dynamic than previously acknowledged. Land development from heat, alongside changes in surface plans, shows a kind of aliveness that suggests we have underestimated Pluto. This smaller guy shows some consideration as well as fire in it, and that would indeed imply that there are pockets of liquid inside Pluto that resemble oceans or magma. The topography group of the New Horizons mission, William McKinnon, even compared the internal presence of the Minute Planet to an astoundingly large scale like Hudson Bay in Canada. Virtual encounters showed that this striking scene developed over millennia and is still extremely unique today. Might you at any point see the specific X on the right beneath the frosty mass? This arrangement was most likely made by sublimation, an interaction in which a substance changes straightforwardly from a strong to a vaporous state, and the liquid stage disappears. These cycles occur because of the outrageous temperatures on Pluto, bewildering topographical cycles and environmental quirks in a dead world. Christmas in the snow on Pluto. Does that sound crazy to you? Well, it's a reality. Pluto genuinely is a mystery. The New Horizons mission uncovered interesting pieces of the climate and occasional changes on this planet. Pluto, which circles in the cool, distant regions of the Kuiper Belt, encounters immense occasional varieties due to its surprising orbit and tilt. The New Horizons space test found that Pluto's air, a thin layer of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide, changes dramatically depending on how close or far Pluto is from the Sun. The changes influence not only the environment but also the surface conditions of the dwarf planet. One especially wonderful aspect of the environmental factors is snow on Pluto. This comprises largely of frozen nitrogen and methane. Dissimilar to on Earth, where snow forms just from water, the extremely low temperatures on Pluto cause the much more volatile gases, nitrogen and methane, to accumulate and fall as intriguing snow. All these interactions shape and invigorate Pluto's surface by covering the landscape with new deposits. The disturbances, thus, drive other topographical movement, such as cold advancement and perhaps even cryovolcanic cycles. The New Horizons research also showed that these seasonal cycles are closely associated with barometric pressure. When Pluto is closest to the sun, the meager light is enough to heat up the dwarf planet's air, making it expand slightly and rise. When Pluto gets away from the sun again, the air freezes and sinks back to the surface. This peculiarity prompts a striking irregularity. When Pluto's air consolidates, it could literally snow with snow made of nitrogen and methane. The varieties in surface brightness and the distribution of cold deposits further suggest that practically all surface features and landscapes on Pluto are connected with these atmospheric cycles. Since Pluto's mountains are not made of rock but of ice, which is quite flexible in this world, the whole surface moves far more than that of our Earth, for example. What does Pluto's heart comprise of? Who could have believed that Pluto's heart isn't just a lovely warm imprint in addition to its eminent appearance? This region is also one of the most astonishing areas on the planet previously called Sputnik Planum. The region is named after the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, which the Soviet Union sent into space in 1957. This huge heart-shaped ice surface stretches out over an area of around 1,000 kilometers and comprises principally of nitrogen ice with hints of frozen methane and carbon monoxide. The brilliant, almost ideal surface of Sputnik Planum forms a clear contrast to the darker, more complex regions around it. Geologically, Sputnik Planum is a tremendous impact structure that was most likely later adjusted by volcanic cycles. Not at all like ordinary volcanic activity on Earth, where magma ascends from the planet's interior, Cryovolcanism on Pluto involves cold materials rising from the dwarf planet's interior to the surface. The heat sources in the depths of Pluto cause nitrogen and other volatile substances to heat up and push upwards, where they freeze and form novel formations like this one. Sputnik Planum is staggeringly flat, 
which drives researchers to infer that the cold surface is consistently revived by internal cycles. It's probably convection processes inside the ice sheet that shape these landscapes. Researchers expect that there may be a span of liquid water underneath the smooth ice sheet of Sputnik Planum, which is kept liquid by the heat inside Pluto. Researchers question whether types of life can exist in the subglacial ocean, but it's not completely inconceivable. Which role does Sharon play? What barely anyone knew is that before New Horizons' mission, Pluto had its own moon and not just one. Sharon is Pluto's biggest moon and was found in 1978 by the American astronomer James Christie. Sharon is quite large in comparison with Pluto, with a width roughly 50% of Pluto. This has led to a remarkable connection between Pluto and Sharon, where the two objects are tidally locked, meaning that Pluto and Sharon always show the same side to each other. Charon's surface is also amazingly unique in relation to Pluto's, with tremendous gorges and enormous impact holes. Researchers believe that Pluto and Charon have been trading materials in the form of comet-like objects.